You are watching the Eddie's World 2023 Halloween Mold Compilation featuring Chainsaw Man, Mommy Long Legs, Jacko Chica, Stinger Flynn, Leatherface, Eyes On, Springtrap, and Jack Skellington. So sit back and relax because it starts now. Welcome to Halloween Mode, everyone. Before we start, just a quick warning. Chainsaw Man is rated TVMA. Eddie and Clark have never seen it. Now that doesn't mean we can't make a custom Akedo Chainsaw Man, but it does mean I have to warn everybody. Don't search Chainsaw Man, watch Chainsaw Man, or play with chainsaws if you're under 18. With that out of the way, let's jump into the video. The exact origin and authenticity of this eBay bot Chucks are unknown, but soon he'll be given a second chance to fight in the arena. He'll be 10 times more powerful, have a frightening new appearance, he'll be a whole nother person. If we can successfully salvage some of this metal, we might be able to shape it into a devastating weapon. This steel is a lot stronger and thicker than expected. Soon, that will be our enemy's problems. To make Denji's collar and tie, I'll be using a new brand of epoxy clay for the first time ever. It's called Epoxy Sculpt, and it's what I see all the professionals using. Right off the bat, I noticed that both Part A and Part B are soft. It's a nice change and I really like it. Another notable difference is that the clay isn't as sticky as the brand I used to use. That could be a good or bad thing, depending on your preference. Overall, I really like it and I can't wait to use it again on the next project. The paint scheme for Denji was pretty simple and I was able to speed through everything except the shoes. And even though the fake Lego head was painted, I went over it again with my own colors to make sure it was perfect. For the Series 2 Halloween figures, I decided to go with a metallic red enamel paint for the base, and it looks amazing.
here is our custom Akedo Denji, aka Chainsaw Man. Let me know what you guys think of him and who you think I should make next. If you want to see just how OP he is, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer because his first battle will happen in Japan. And if you don't know, when we battle in Japan, the loser stays. Forever. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our first of 8 Halloween mode figures. If you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you in the next video. It's a mouse under here guys. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, you already know, we're making Mommy Long Legs. And in preparation of this build, I bought Poppy Playtime 2 and I started playing it. Check out some of that footage right here. Oh, I remember this. Grab it, pull it, smack it, block, 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 stick it. Two hands now. Nope. Seriously? Okay, let's crack this open. Mommy long legs. Huggy wuggy. Pretty close, pretty close. Yeah, this is gonna work. I'm gonna turn this into this. Make sure you guys stick around to the end to see how it comes out because this is going to be a first, if it works. This Mr. Splits has a really strong neck and I don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to be really careful while I do this. Okay guys, we only need the body and the neck. So I'm gonna cut this arm off and both legs. Oh yeah, and I'll save this base plate. Okay guys, we got a lot of grinding to do on this, so I'm about to take it outside to grind off everything that we don't need and kind of get a general shape for mommy long legs. Let's go! Okay guys, I grinded the body and I also drilled out a little hole in her head. And that looks a little weird. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the straw technique. Just put a little straw there. Okay, now that looks good. I want mommy long legs upper body to be a little bigger than this and I also want it to form more of a heart shape so I'm just gonna build it up with some epoxy clay and I'll show you guys how to do that right now gonna use some epoxy sculpt really good stuff we're not gonna need much and you got to remember Whatever you grab of one side, you're gonna have double of that. You don't wanna cross contaminate too. So one hand per container.
think we got it. I found this in our living room floor. Gonna attach that to the body. And then we can attach the legs to this. All right, to make mommy long legs, arms and legs, I bought this wire special for this project. Check this stuff out, it's really cool. It's so thick, but it's so easy to bend. So it's gonna look something like that. And then her leg will wrap around to the base plate. Oh guys, I forgot to mention, I'm making mommy long legs upside down okay here is the feet got the holes in it i'm gonna have to patch that and i was doing a little testing i want to make her feet into another heart shape i think that's going to be really cool and it really helps our purposes so as you can see she's going to be tall this is going to be interesting oh my goodness this thing is going to be massive Test this out, guys. She doesn't really split. I'm gonna have to put a spring in there. Now, I need to embed this straw. The straw is gonna house the spring so that when I close it, the spring will be sitting in there. And then when he gets split, it'll push him out. All right, guys, while I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm gonna get our fist ready. So I'll be using Tonk's hands. I don't remember. This might be from Hulk. These might be off Hulk. So I'm just gonna cut his fist off. All I need are the fists, and I'm gonna remove these gauntlets. Okay, got it. And I already pre-drilled the holes. All right, let's glue those on and then get the bracelets done. I cut the spring and I am now going to test it for the first time. Oh yeah, that was obvious. That'll work. I can't believe it. I couldn't find a single ball in my entire house except for this. Let's get it on. I'm super excited guys. We're almost done. All right, guys, I got the hole drilled. See it? Okay. Let's get this head on because I am running out of time. What do you guys think of that? That's pretty cool, right? Okay, I think it's gonna look a hundred times better painted. So let's do this. If you're wondering why I'm not airbrushing this one, it's because it's super late at night. This video is due in less than a day and I just really fell behind with this build. Hopefully I get it out on time.
Okay, when I painted this base, it took me like four coats to get it that nice. So with Mommy Long Legs, I'm gonna try to paint a red base coat and then paint that metallic red and see if that helps since we are running out of time here. Stretch, pull, and twist Mommy Long Legs in the craziest way! What do you guys think of Mommy Long Legs? She's 95% done, but I figured I better show you guys something after that long video. And I literally just finished painting her, so I don't even want to test her out, but I will show you guys that she splits. That's pretty cool, right? If you guys like this build and you want to see her battle in the arena, then hit that like and subscribe button because this weekend, me, Eddie, and Clark are going to have a Mommy Long Legs versus Huggy Wuggy challenge. And the winner is going to get to open this, some Mega Gross Minis, and we'll also be announcing a Halloween giveaway. You guys aren't going to want to miss that video. Thank you everyone so much for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you, and we will see you in the next video. What's up guys? Welcome back to Eddie's World. We are currently in Halloween mode and on our third of eight spooky warriors. In today's video, I'm gonna turn this Shadow Flame Phantomu into Jacko Chica. But before we get started, we need to get more information. We need the ultimate compendium of Five Nights at Freddy's characters. The Five Nights at Freddy's official character encyclopedia. So that's where I'm headed now. I don't know what I was thinking. We had this book this whole time. Let's check it out. Here we go, guys. Jacko Chica, chicken and pumpkin together at last. This Halloween variant of Nightmare Chica has an orange color scheme and an internal glow. Nightmare Cupcake has been replaced by a jack-o'-lantern. He's not officially called Mr. Pumpkin, but we like to call him that. Okay guys, that is what his weapon is gonna be. Mr. Pumpkin is gonna be the weapon. To help out with today's build, I bought this Nightmare Chica. These things are getting really hard to find and expensive. But I was talking to Eddie and he said this is almost the exact same skin as Jacko Chica, so this is really gonna help us out. Jacko Chica is going to be our fourth Five Nights at Freddy's character and she's also going to help to complete the band because you see we have one version of Bonnie, one version of Freddy, one version of Foxy and now we're going to have Jacko Chica. Shadow Flame Phantomu isn't an ideal starting figure for Jacko Chica but I really need this fist. I think what I'm going to do to save time is I'm going to swap out his legs for something more suitable. Let's go check the parts drawer. There's gotta be something in here. Maybe this? I think this is it, guys. I'm gonna show you how to do a leg swap. It's pretty simple. You just gotta remove these two pins. Just catch it on your thumbnail like that. See? Now just line up all the pieces you want and reinsert the pins. Okay, I got a lot of grinding to do, so let's grab the Dremel and go outside. Okay. 
I already showed you guys how to do a leg swap. This is how you do a foot swap. I'm gonna mark my cut line so my figure stays at the exact same height. These shears won't make a perfect cut so I'm just gonna get it close and then I'll finish it with the grinder. Everything's all grinded down to my cut line and I drilled two holes in the bottom of the legs. Now I'll feed this wire through our new feet, which were already hollow, into our legs. And once I super glue everything together, that's going to create a really strong connection that the boys won't even be able to break. I might be wrong. I still have a lot of body details to make, but this lump of clay is kind of hardening up. So I'm just gonna make this his pumpkin, Mr. Pumpkin. I'm just gonna wrap this grape. I'm gonna turn it into a pumpkin. Holy smokes, this thing is so big and heavy. He's gonna be pretty powerful. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, how ridiculous is this gonna look? Well, that ain't too bad. That's kind of proportional right there. I like it. Okay, the clay is all hardened. So now I'm going to try to add more details with the Dremel. I really want to make one more Five Nights at Freddy's character for our 2023 Halloween series. And by looking at these toys, maybe you can guess who it is. I'm kind of scared to open this one because I don't think it's licensed and that might be lead paint. Found this on eBay for $10. So guys, let me know in the comments what Five Nights at Freddy's character you want to see and you just might change my mind. guys it's time to paint the only thing I won't be painting is this bib and his metal toes everything else is about to get a coat of primer let's go
do you guys think of Jacko Chica? I'm honestly surprised at how nice she turned out and I definitely think she's the strongest out of all our FNAF warriors. But we're gonna find out real soon because I'm planning a Five Nights at Freddy's mini tournament with Eddie and Clark. Make sure you don't miss it. I hope you all enjoyed warrior number three in our 2023 Halloween series. Let me know who you wanna see in the comments below. I'm thinking of doing a Garden of Ban Ban character next at Eddie's request. What do you guys think of that? Thank you everyone so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and we will see you in the next video. Hi guys, can you believe what happened in our last video? We got 10 shreddy bears in a row and the boys won 40,000 yen each to spend on our Japan trip. That's equal to 1 million dollars. Uh, no, it's actually about 300 dollars. Make sure you like and subscribe to see what Eddie and Clark buy with their yen. Okay, I'm still a little mad about the shreddy bears. Time to take out some of my frustration. Oh no. Whoa, this Lego projectile launcher is pretty powerful and dangerous. Look at how far it can shoot. Maybe I can use it for today's build. This time, I got everything all planned out and I've prepared a little presentation. We are making a custom Akedo Stinger Flynn from the Garden of Ban Ban game. We'll be using Lego, the Lego Torpedo Launcher to be exact, and we'll only be needing an Akedo base because Stinger Flynn will be made out of paper mache and wire. And here's a cool pumpkin sticker I found. <laughs> okay guys, the first thing we gotta do is make Stinger Flynn Attach them to this torpedo and see if it'll shoot. I originally wanted to make a clay model of Stinger Flynn, but after realizing that I didn't have non-hardening clay, I decided to use foam instead. And as you can see, I have foam. Now that we've made a foam model of Stinger Flynn, I'm going to use some Mod Podge to make a paper mache shell of our character. And hopefully, it'll be light enough to fly. So if you're wondering why I'm using Mod Podge and not flour, it's because from what I researched online, people have said that this formula is actually going to be lighter than a flour formula. And we need it light. The lighter this shell is, the farther it'll fly. The paper mache is completely dry and I'm about to cut it open so we can remove the foam. I took out as much foam as I could and now I need to put the two halves back together.
Okay, we're all done with the paper mache. Let's get his eyeball in. I found these foam balls lying around the shop. I think I bought them to make the lookies for the Rainbow Friends training figure. Luckily, I made the lookies out of epoxy clay instead. Before gluing in the eyeball, there's something that's really bothering me that needs fixing. Stinger Flynn didn't turn out as smooth as I wanted him to be, so I'm going to brush on a real light coat of drywall mud to fill in some of the imperfections. And after a light sanding, you can see a huge difference. Now I can glue in the eyeball with some Mod Podge. And throw on a coat of orange. Next, I need to cut this rubbery tip off the projectile. And I also need to cut both mounting rails off the launcher. You guys remember this wire from the Mommy Long Legs build? I'm gonna use it again for Stinger Flynn's tentacles. Okay guys, let's mount these legs to our shooter. Whoa. To mount the wire to the launcher, I'll use three small zip ties and a little super glue. I had to do a lot of testing and research to get the height and aesthetics of Stinger Flynn's legs just right. And as much as possible, I tried to bend the wires using just my hands. To mount Stinger Flynn's rounded tentacles to the base plate, I grinded out four grooves and added a lot of super glue. And hopefully, that'll do the trick. I'm gonna leave them in this trigger clamp overnight to dry. It's been 24 hours and everything is completely stuck together. But before we can position the arms, I need to glue Stinger Flynn to the projectile. As much as possible, I'd like to keep his delicate paper mache body out of the strike zone. So I'm gonna elevate him a little with the help of this hot glue stick. Guys, first test. Cross your fingers. Yes! Stinger Flynn ended up being really light, and he flies pretty high when being split. But I just wasn't happy with how the paint turned out, so I decided to repaint Stinger Flynn using spray paint. Now, I just have to paint his eye, this big round scar around his eye, his base plate, his pupil, and Eddie insisted that I add the scar on the back of his head. The last thing to do is lower the split strike button by using some plexiglass. And since I managed to finish the build with time to spare, here's the reveal and battle test with Eddie and Clark. You guys ready for the reveal of Stinger Flynn? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, out of all the Garden of Ban Ban suggestions, no one ever said Stinger Flynn. Really? Why Stinger Flynn? He's big. Is it because he helps you? Yeah. You should make Dumbo Josh because he's big to Chad and oh, he's really strong. And he's yeah, way and, more stronger than him. Ready? Oh my gosh. Oh my oh. gosh. Can oh I see him? Oh my gosh. I'm the expert. You are the expert. You requested him. No, his scar is supposed to be like a different color, I think. No, it's okay. How does he split? Clarky? Do you want to do the honors? Okay. Whoa! It's like a, he's like... 
It works. Do you use Lego pieces? <laughs> no. I used our Lego torpedo shooter. I'm going to buy more of them because it's so awesome. Did you see how high it shoots it? Whoa! Whoa! What's this head made out of? It's, it's paper mache. What's that? <laughs> it's like newspaper that has glue on it. So isn't it really light? Yeah, and strong. Yeah. It actually looks like him. So I did a good job? Yeah. All right. Check out his arms. Do you think he's going to be powerful? No. Yeah. Check out that eyeball. Pretty round, I think. Pretty round. There's this scar Eddie insisted upon. Oh man, I don't even know any of these guys' names. Okay, we got... Um, um, stinky? Um, stinking. Stinking, Stink. wow! Is stinky Titan Cameraman. I'm gonna call him Pepe Le Pew. I'm, gonna I'm calling call him, him Cameraman. The Titan Stinker Man. Ready, fight. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Fight! Split strike! Yes. Oh! Okay ready? okay, ready? Fight! Split strike! Oh my goodness! Ready! Fight! Split strike! Yeah! There we go! There we go! Nice! <laughs> that even just his head alone looks cool. Oh. How about a Ninja Turtle? Actually, yeah, there you go. This guy would be pretty good. There you go. Ready, set, go. Oh! <laughs> you redo. just gotta redo, redo. You gotta watch out because Eddie can just stay like this. Oh boy, okay, switching out. Oh, I think Eddie just found his new favorite. No, why do you do this to me? Oh, favorite, Eddie's favorite versus his old favorite. Okay. No, this is my favorite custom. Oh, okay. This is my favorite guy. Oh, Two boy. This is always going to be my favorite. <laughs> okay. Ready. Fight. Split strike. Whoa. Whoa, guys. Yo. Yo. Oh. Let's go. We're so not used to fighting outside of the Please arena. It's Eddie. hilarious. I'm choosing whoever this guy is. I think his name is Seahorn. The unicorn shark guy. Okay, ready, fight, spit strike. Oh, did you see that? This guy is super simple to operate. I just, I can't see because I'm looking through the camera. Okay, he's super simple. It's so, guys, if you have a Lego torpedo shooter, you can easily make an awesome custom giant or whatever you want with this. It's so easy. Stinger Flynn versus Seahorn, ready. Fight! Split strike! Ah! Oh. Oh. Yo! Yo! Oh, trick shot! Hey, it didn't touch the ground. It's good. Ready? Fight! Split! Whoa. Split! Split strike! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> okay, guys, so this has been our fourth <laughs> custom <laughs> Halloween warrior. Out of eight, we are halfway through Halloween mode. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and we will see you in the next video. Bye! Hi guys, remember how we just opened up 10 shreddy bears in a row? It actually might have been a good thing. First of all, I was looking through my doubles and I only saw one shreddy bear. So it's not like we have 20 shreddy bears now. We have 11. Secondly, I was really having a hard time deciding who to make for our fifth Halloween warrior. But since I have all these shreddy bears, and this really cool looking Leatherface figure, I knew what I had to do. And we're not gonna give him just one chainsaw, we're gonna give him two chainsaws. 
I'm also going to remove his plastic chainsaw blades and give him metal ones, just like Chainsaw Man. The first thing we need to do is go outside and grind off all this fur. And while I'm grinding, check out this footage of me and the boys in Spirit Halloween. Okay, is that scary? Oh! <laughs> is, is that for us? Actually, it looks scary. Oh, wait, this is gonna do something. Whoa! What happened? <laughs> How much is it? Um, $38. <laughs> Please? I can build you this. I'm melting into the background. I'm Homer Simpson melting into the background. Bibble with shorty in pizza box. What does it say? The, the strong silent type. It's like his Tinder profile. You just are a consumer, aren't you? You just want to buy Let's stuff. Let's just go. Just, just five dollars. Please, guys, can we get some press-on nail clips? That little light red light. Dude, that's like exactly oh. what I made. Oh, I can feel it. One hundred ten dollars. Stop touching me. It's okay, boy. Do not hit your brother with that. No, it will not work. But I, it looks like you can't open and close it. Killer Clown's popcorn gun? Is this a thing? Dude, shoot me with that anytime. Yeah. I got the real version of most of this. Oh, you okay. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> First, get this mask. Okay. Who kissed me? Dad, look, he's picking his nose. Oh boy. Now you gotta eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Okay, back to the build. Our shreddy bear has been grinded down and we're ready to swap heads. Make sure you guys stick around to see how this one turns out because surprisingly, Eddie said this is his new favorite out of the 2023 Halloween series so far. And I was like, really? You like Leatherface, a character from a movie you've never even seen before? More than Jacko Chica? More than Stinger Flynn? I was shocked. But I definitely saved some of the best for last this Halloween series. And it's going to be my goal to make each new warrior from now to the end his new favorite. Hey guys, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm gonna let it dry a little more and then I need to cut that vertical line down his chest and the horizontal line on his waist so that he can split. While we're waiting for the epoxy clay to dry, let's work on making these chainsaws a little more realistic. I found this old pair of tweezers that I use to remove splinters from my fingers, but it's definitely time to retire them. They'll be perfect for our chainsaw blades. I just have to separate the two sides. Cut off the old plastic chainsaw blades. Drill out a hole for our new metal chainsaw blades. Then cut our new blades to the right length and glue them in. Okay guys, I'm all ready to paint, but one thing I'm going to do different with this figure, I'm going to take off his arms, and I'm going to swap them with this local grande that, um, yeah, this is why he's in the parts drawer. All right, I need to push out this pin. It's a little more difficult now that 
I bumped out his chest a little bit, so not impossible. There we go. This pin is not meant to be removed. This smooth part allows the arm to swivel and these teeth are what grab onto the inside of the arm and hold it in place. Check that out. That helps a lot. So I'm not gonna put the arms back on. I'm gonna paint this guy and then I'll throw them on after and they'll be the right color when I do. First, I gotta get this base plate painted metallic red so it matches the rest of the 2023 Halloween Warriors. And after I paint these boots, I can super glue the figure and the base together. While I was looking through images of Leatherface, I noticed that he's always either in his blue suit or in his butcher's apron. And I gotta admit, the blue suit look would have been cool, but I think the butcher's apron is more recognizable and more spooky. It gives me the feeling that he's planning on using those chainsaws. Okay guys, to get his weapon arm on, I had to drill out that hole a little bit because it's really hard to push this peg back in and into here. So I just like to drill that hole out and then I put super glue in it and hold that peg in it for a little while till it dries. You don't wanna get super glue out here. This arm needs to move, so you need it just in this hole. So to put it on, I just use a little toothpick like this. Just have something handy to be pushing on this peg. If the arm is too tight, it won't swivel. So keep that in mind. Leatherface is almost complete. But before the big reveal, check out the rest of the Spirit Halloween footage. <laughs> That's very nutritious, actually. That's a very cute time when they're learning to crawl. Guys, I want to see Cousin Noah in this. Mm -hmm. Let's get it. That looks like Cousin Noah. Kind of does look like Cousin Noah. Look like you go in the box. What's happening? I don't know. A roll of lights went out. Justice on them. <laughs> then are we allowed to search these things? If you guess the guy right, then I'll buy it. But if not, then you gotta pay me back for it. How's the searching going, boys? I'm trying to find Sam. You're going this with down Sam. Sam. Which one is Sam? This guy. No, this guy. It's, it's wait, wait. This guy does have a bump on the top of his head. Yeah, Clarky, you have this guy. Clarky, this is the guy you're getting. Oh, you really? Isn't it? Yeah. Unmasked. It's he, this guy. He's cool, man. I kind of want to make him now. He has a pumpkin head. Yeah, oh, is that what it is? It's like a shriveled up pumpkin. Yeah. Guys, we just came out of Spirit Halloween. I got a bone for my project. Okay. The boys got... This one is... It's this one. I think it's this one. Okay, but what, what is that? Exclusive. Okay, if you don't guess it right, you gotta pay for the blind bag. So, Eddie, what do you think yours is? Exclusive B. Oh my gosh, you guys went for the exclusives. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is this exclusive A? <gasps> Wait, it is! Clucky, is that what you were expecting? Can we see? Okay, so you got. Oh. <laughs> you couldn't tell this was a cage? <laughs> you, you're in debt. You have $300. I know, 
that's been our trip to Spirit Halloween. I hope you guys enjoyed our Leatherface customization. If you did and haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to Eddie's World. We release new Akedo videos every Wednesday and Saturday. This was our fifth 2023 Halloween Warrior, which means we got three more to go. Let me know in the comments who's your favorite so far and who you'd like to see included in this series. And remember, after we complete our eight warriors, we're going to have a Halloween tournament to see who the king or queen of this year's Halloween will be. Thank you everyone so much for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you and we're looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Eddie's World is in Japan. But if I'm in Japan, how am I gonna continue the Halloween series? Oh my gosh, how are we gonna continue the Halloween series? Oh yeah, now I remember. By bringing our tools, that's how. Wait. The miniature versions. I got a saw, pliers, and a screwdriver. Okay, no, guys, just playing around. This is what I'm bringing. I got an otter box that I found in my wife's trunk. Thank you. Since I'm gonna be on the move, instead of paint brushes, I have paint pens. Deco color, Sharpie, and they're all a base to Hewley. Wait a minute. They're all oil based. Bringing this saw hopefully doesn't get confiscated. Some miniature crazy glue. My multi-tool safety award. Thank you, Fletcher Pacific. Some clay tools, pair of snips, gloves, Pack up some clay, golf ball sized amount, really sus. Some eyeballs, suction cups, spare parts, couple Lego shooters, and some parts I found lying around the garage. Oh my goodness. Well, that's interesting. I've been looking for this. That's cool. Very creative. I'm just gonna borrow these. Hopefully I can find a replacement in Japan. This guy will do. I think I'm ready, guys. Babe, are you gonna pack your bags or what? Uh-oh. Bye, Oscars. Bye, Guppies. Bye, Workshop. Bye, Mocha. We'll be right back. You guys ready? Yeah! Waiting for the airplane. Finally boarding. <laughs> Nine hours later. Okay guys, this is our first full day, our first real full day in Japan. So, I'm gonna start working on my custom. Don't mind the shower noises in the back. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get most of the fabrication done. I'm gonna try to get the head on the wings I want to decorate his shield and bones oh one more thing hold on I also wanted to cover his whole body in these eyes that I bought okay guys I got all my customizing things in my little day bag <laughs> let's see how it goes I'm I'm 100% getting this thing.
Guys, do you want to see what I did to the custom on our day out? Yeah. Can we see? This. Nothing. Nothing. Daddy did nothing today. Okay, guys, I was going to try to do my customization as we were walking, but it was just too hard. And I didn't want to disrupt the Japanese public kind of like this. <laughs> <laughs> Should not do this here. So, this is what I made. His head is a Lego helmet. Not sure where it's from, maybe Lord of the Rings. This shield I made out of a toy skeleton head and I gave him some tentacles on the top and bottom out of epoxy clay. And then I just painted the whole thing metallic silver with my pen. All the details on his body are made out of epoxy clay. And then I just stuck all these eyeballs on him. And then I just painted everything silver and all his armor black. All of my oil-based pens came out really nice except for the red. I thought it was a metallic red, but it's not, and I couldn't really get it too close to the feet. So I'm gonna just touch all that up at home. But the black came out really nice, and especially the metallic silver. Guys, you might notice I also didn't give him a weapon. It's because we found these cool metal swords in a gift shop, but they're just a little too big. So I'm gonna be on the lookout for a real metal sword from Japan to give this guy. Guys, my warrior doesn't have a name. Let me know what we should name him in the comments below. So guys, what do you think of custom Halloween warrior number six? It wasn't easy, but I got it done. And in fact, it was so hard for me to do on our vacation that I think next Saturday, I'm just gonna have an Akedo battle in Japan video, and we're probably not gonna have a Wednesday video. But after Saturday, we'll be back home, so don't worry, we'll be back to our regular Wednesday and Saturday schedule. And just to give everyone a little hint, we're gonna do another Five Nights at Freddy figure. So make sure you guys like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss that video. Thank you everyone so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Boys, I'm gonna buy you one of these to replace the one I destroyed. I turned Strike Out into Withered Bonnie. Master C into Golden Freddy. Mr. Splits into Lolbit. And Shadow Flame Phantomu into Jacko Chica. But can I turn Commander Panda into one of the most visually terrifying Five Nights at Freddy's characters around? Springtrap. Guys, Springtrap is gonna be our fifth Five Nights at Freddy's character and our seventh Halloween warrior. And just like with all my custom Akedo warriors, I wanna make them as accurate as possible. Luckily, Eddie has both the McFarlane and the Funko version of Springtrap. I just gotta find him and put him together. All right guys, sadly we're missing the left foot and the chest plate for our McFarlane Springtrap figure. But that's okay because the Funko version of Springtrap is way more detailed and accurate. And since the Springtrap McFarlane figure is so expensive, I bought the much more affordable Plush Trap. Okay guys, I've been doing a lot of research on Springtrap. 
And a lot of the information I've been finding on him is pretty terrifying. But there's no evidence of him using a weapon. So I think I'm going to have to turn this guy into a puncher. And I don't want to waste one of my punchers. So I'm going to make a punching arm on him using clay. There's also a lot of fabrication I need to do on his body and head. So that's probably the first thing I want to do because the clay does take a while to dry. This is a nice strong neck. All right, you see how Springtrap is in this picture? He's kind of got his hands out like that. That's what I want to do to this guy. So I'm going to cut off both his arms so we can make a wire armature and then get some clay on that wire. All right, guys, I got a lot of grinding to do, so let's go outside. I'm grinding out Springtrap's mask because I really want to make the version of him where you can see William Afton's head inside. And I gathered three heads that I think might work. Head A is off an Animal Planet diver figure. Head B is a skull from a Japanese toy. And head C is Hayashi. Here's what they look like inside the mask. They all fit. Which one should I choose? This is just perfect, right? We got to go with Hayashi, guys. All right, while we wait for these to dry, let's work on the head. All right guys, spring trap's right ear is missing. Looks like maybe right here. Let's just cut that off. I'm just gonna repaint Hayashi's skin tone. I'm gonna leave his mouth because I just think that'll be really cool to see Hayashi in there, but I am gonna paint over his eyes because they're way too low. Okay guys, these beads are pretty hardened. Really wanna see if they're gonna work because I'm running out of time here. That's not bad. Some spring trap guys riding in on our motorized dolly. Whoa, 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 where are you going? Whoa. A 
And there you have it guys, our fifth Five Nights at Freddy's Warrior. I think this is shaping up to be one of our best series yet. What do you guys think? Is it going to be better than the Rainbow Friends or the yet to be completed Skibbity series? So with the completion of Springtrap, that leaves just one more warrior. I got it all planned out. I know who I'm going to make. You guys have been asking for him for a long time now. You're finally going to get it. I'm not going to tell you who it is. You're going to have to join me next week to see the surprise. I promise you won't be disappointed. To make sure you don't miss any future videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and we will see you in the next video. Can I make a custom Makedo Jack Skellington using only this? Make sure you stick. Make sure you stick around. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video to find out. All right, guys. Here's the finale to our 2023 Halloween mode here on Eddie's World. I hope everyone's enjoyed this year's selection. And if you made a suggestion that I didn't make, don't worry because there's always next Halloween. Isn't it kind of spooky how some of this year's warriors perfectly aligned with last year's themes? And our finale is no exception. And out of all the 2023 Halloween series so far, the most enjoyable warrior to play has got to be Stinger Flynn. And the funny thing about it is that he doesn't even have any Akedo parts on him. He's made out of paper mache, wire, and most importantly, a LEGO Technic projectile launcher. And speaking of LEGO projectile launchers, I found a bunch on eBay and I bought them. All of them. I bought all of them. 52 launchers and 40 projectiles. There's black launchers, gray launchers, white launchers, red projectiles, gray projectiles, gray projectiles with yellow tips, yellow projectiles, and even broken yellow projectiles. I also bought one Domes Jack Skellington figure. I really love using Domes figures because they're so detailed and accurate. The first thing we need to do is get to Jack's head, cut it open, and hollow it out. I think we might be in luck here, guys. The head is hollow, and that's going to save us a bunch of time. Now, I'll take this Lego projectile launcher and some of this wire, and I'll show you guys what I have in mind. Using only an Akedo base plate, I present to you Jack Skellington with exploding split strike action head when you hit him here. Okay, I'm going to have to work on that. This launcher is going to turn into Jack's body, so let's carefully cut off this mounting rail and grind it down as much as possible without destroying it. Okay, guys, if you're trying to follow along at home, pay attention because this is the most important part of the whole project. We're about to attach the limbs onto the body, but you need to be very precise with the super glue. The projectile launcher has moving parts that need to move in order to work. See this hole right here? That's one of the places you don't want to get glue. So don't just squeeze the glue on, apply it with a toothpick. Make sure you have some zip ties ready to hold the limbs in place. And last, give the glue a lot of time to dry before moving to the next step. For the head, I'll cut off the top of the projectile and glue a 2 inch length of wire into it. A couple hours have passed and if I wasn't in such a rush to finish the video, I would have let the glue dry overnight. But here I am about to pose him so we can start sculpting the clay. With the help of battle giant Oogie Boogie, we'll figure out the best arm and leg pose for the Pumpkin King. This was probably the most frustrating part of the build for me because the limbs kept breaking off the body while I was trying to bend them and in the back of my mind, I knew that the steps were only going to get harder and harder. And after borrowing hands from a forgotten action figure, I present to you Endoskeleton Jack Skellington. Alright guys, um, don't laugh at his little peg right here, but um, I'm gonna, I'll cut that off now.
Someone just asked in the comments what kind of clay I used. And if you watch all of our videos, you'll have seen me use a bunch of different stuff over the years. But recently, I discovered epoxy clay. And the epoxy sculpt brand is by far my favorite to work with. Because the super glue isn't really bonding the metal limbs to the plastic body, I'm gonna rely mostly on the clay to hold everything together. And before I start, I'll just add a little bit of super glue for good luck. I'm still really bad at sculpting and I'm sure rushing to beat a deadline doesn't help at all. But if I can do it, I know you guys can too. This stuff is pretty forgiving and you have about a four to five hour window until the clay starts to stiffen up. Just make sure you wear gloves and have proper ventilation. And if you do have to sand or grind any mistakes or imperfections, make sure you're wearing a respirator. This is my second application of clay and I'm busting out all the tricks I've learned from watching YouTubers like Mini Bricks, Jack Jack Creator, The Craftsman Steady Crafting, and Eddie's World. Just kidding, guys, that last YouTuber was me. Alrighty. The body is finished and sanded, and I'm shocked at how decent it looks. And after we get the head on, it's finally time to address the elephant in the room. Jack's split strike button. Maybe it's better if I just not talk or try to explain anything. Just watch, guys. Just watch. Okay, that's better, right? Did I save it? Yes? Yes? Yes! Here is Jack the Pumpkin King Skellington, looking pretty good. I'm about to paint him and I'm excited, scared, and nervous. What do you guys think of him? I stayed up all night to get him finished in time and you wouldn't believe how hard it is to paint a thin straight line at 11 o'clock at night. Hopefully, we can film the Halloween tournament this weekend and if we do, my money's on Jack Skellington. 
Who do you guys think will be our 2023 Halloween champion? And what do you think of this year's Halloween lineup? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Please have a safe and sugary Halloween. And if you enjoyed the build and want to see more awesome Akedo customizations, then hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you in the next video. You are watching the 2023 Custom Akedo Halloween Tournament featuring Chainsaw Man, Bobby Longlegs, Chapo Chica, Stinger Flynn, Leatherface, Eyes On, Spring Trap, and the Pumpkin King himself, Jack Skellington. You won't believe who wins this one, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video and hit that like and subscribe button right now! Alright guys, this is the 2023 Custom Akedo Halloween Tournament, starring Clarky and Eddie. You already saw the bracket. This is what it's gonna be. The last fight in the first round is very interesting. What oh. did you say, boys? Guys, this guy's my favorite. Guys, That's your favorite. Guys, guys this guy's my like favorite his head. because inside you can see <laughs> him like. Ah. Oh, it's so hard to choose, but I think my favorite is Jack, and I also think Jack's gonna win. Okay, guys, before we start, I just want to go over the rules. We play first the two split strikes is the winner. If your guy gets knocked off the controller, that counts as one split strike. If your guy breaks because of my poor craftsmanship and he can no longer fight, he is out. And guys, I'm going to stay up all night editing this for you so you can watch it on Halloween night. Okay, let's go! <laughs> okay! Ready! Fight! Split strike! I can't reach him. And boot! Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness! 1 0 Dad, Jack is it, Skellington. Like, I'm just gonna be in this position. Okay, you totally can. Let's see if Clarky can Ready. figure a way to win. Ready! Oh! <laughs> Jack Skellington moves on to the next round, guys. Looking very impressive. Okay, guys, fight number two. We have Jack Ochica versus Leatherface. Those don't even look like chainsaws. Look at that. What that is the height difference. <laughs> the height difference. Though. What are those? You can still hit them though, right? Yeah, oh, we're, we're about to find out, guys. Okay, ready, fight, split strike. Oh, oh wait, eat the pumpkin. Eat the pumpkin. I can't hit her head. Yeah, you can. Oh, yeah. Okay, 1 0. Jacko Chica's winning. Ready, ready fight. Split, split strike. Oh, he's sawing your arm off. Ah. He's sawing your. Oh! Okay, it's one to one. The winner of the next fight. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna stay. No, that's cheating. Oh, that is it. It is. That is the, not um, cheating. That's not only cheating, but that's bad TV. Okay, ready, ready fight. fight. Split strike. Whoa! Oh, that looked like a knockout punch, man. Come on, Clarky. Wow, guys, this is some high level battles, man. Whoa. You know what? Watching those blades swing around is really cool. They're so shiny. Oh! Yeah! Nice! Jacko Chica moves on! I'm upgrading them. Like you just leveled up. I, I leveled up. Okay guys, it's Springtrap versus Izon. I don't think I can split him because he's so tall. We're about to find out. Ready, 
fight. Spin strike. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. Gosh, that oh, was awesome. Decorated. Yeah, his weapon is on his other hand there. Nice. Ready, fight, spit strike. Oh! Okay, guys, this is the fight I'm looking forward to the most besides the championship fight. This is going to be interesting. I fully see someone breaking here. Mm -hmm. Hopefully not. We have Mommy Longlegs versus Stinger Flynn. Ready, fight, split strike! Yeah! Oh! No, I got it first then. Wait, oh, oh, oh. I got it first. Wait, let me check no, the no, replay. No, no, I'm gonna check the replay. No, no, no. Yeah, Cortana no. hit me first, because I was like trying to hit her. Good thing we checked the replay. Stinger Flynn actually won that one. <laughs> Mommy was split way before. It's one to zero. Stinger Flynn is winning. Ready, fight, split strike. Oh, what are you doing? I'm like. <laughs> okay, it's tied up, guys. You can't just be sleeping out in the middle of the arena, guys. You need to be fighting. Ready? It's one to one. The winner of this fight will move on to fight Izar. Ready, fight, split strike. Oh! Yo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, those are the fallen warriors. This is the semifinals. The semifinals will be Jack versus Jack. <laughs> Guys, let's go to Jack in a Box for lunch. Yeah! <laughs> the second semifinal will be Aizan versus Mommy Long Legs by Aizan. Okay, who's gonna be who? I'm gonna be him. Okay, ready, fight, split strike! No! No, don't hook, don't hook, don't hook. That counts. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, guys, it's one to zero. Jack is winning, but which Jack? Jack Ochika is winning. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? ready? Yes. Fight. Okay, wait. I'm scared because I wanted Jack Skellington to win. Ready. Okay, ready. Fight. Split strike. Oh no! Why doesn't yes, that count? Because the hanging went forward. <laughs> no! Jack Skellington is out, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, it's Mommy Long Legs versus Izon. I don't know, Izon. I just don't know. Okay, ready? Ready! Did you split her yeah, first? I split her. Broke my controller. I split her first. Okay, hold on. We're gonna check the replay, guys. Guys, we looked over the replay and we went frame by frame. It was a tie, man. Izon shield hit her head right I, as I, she split eyes on. Yeah, so we're going again, boys. It's zero to zero. Ready, fight, split strike. Oh, yo, yo, Aizan is a beast. Okay. Oh, it's, it's one zero. They're not even waiting. Oh, go Aizan. Go Aizan. 
Guys, would you even have thought this is our championship fight? I mean, they're they're both good, but look at this lineup. First the two split strikes is the Ready? Halloween King. Ready? Fight. Split strike. Oh! Go Aizan! Yay! It's one to zero. Aizan, <laughs> oh my gosh, he's about to become a legend, guys. Ready, fight, split strike. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yo! Yo, Jack can't take it either. No! Double dismount. Never seen that before. It's 1 0. Aizan is winning. Ready, fight, split strike. Okay, guys, that was by far the best Halloween tournament yet. I can't believe my custom is the king, is the champion. There was no funny business. Like, we didn't script this. That B custom, like a totally fan-made fan. Yeah, exactly. Before we go, we just want to go over all the Halloween rules to you guys. We don't want anyone breaking any of the Halloween rules. Am I right? It's because Sam's watching, guys. Okay, Eddie, let everyone know the Halloween rules. From the cult hit Trick or Treat comes Sam, the mischievous spirit of Halloween who enforces the holiday's ancient traditions. Number one, wear a costume. Number two, hand out treats. Number three, never blow out a jack-o'-lantern. Number four, always check your candy. To the untrained eye, Sam looks like any other trick or treater, but what lurks under the Burlap sack and orange footy pajamas is anything but sweet. Sam's not a bad guy. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with those rules and they're actually... Sounds like daddy, you know? Check your candy, right? Yeah, if... Like, yeah, I... Like, one time I always check the candy. Okay, guys, we just wanted to go over the Halloween rules and we want to say... Have a good Halloween, Have a good Halloween and be safe. And be safe. Bye, bye. Have a happy and safe Halloween. We'll see you in the next video. Eyes on, baby. Where'd he go? Oh,